Morning guys. No boot polishing today. Today we're building a straw bale house. Hooray! In the last episode, you saw us unload 125 bales of straw, and today we're going to get going. We're going to be covering topics like door bucking. We're going to lay our first course of bales. We're going to be talking about building or fabricating rebar staples. Some of these topics we've covered in more detail in our previous builds, and I'll make sure to link those in the description box below or in a card above in case you need a little more information. Before we get going, I want to show you a book that I picked up last week. It's called The Natural Building Companion. Uh, one of the authors, Ace McArleton, was featured in a short YouTube video, only about seven minutes long. I was so impressed with her presentation and the, uh, the way they approached the whole topic of straw bale building that I was compelled to buy the book. It is probably one of the best books that I own on straw bale building. Anyways, let's get started. So today I'm working on the door bucking. What I did was I bought uh, some 2x8s and 2x10s, and I put them together using pocket screws. Let me show you. Using pocket screws, glue, and then some battens going across the back. I hadn't planned on using these, but I was noticing that there was a little bit of warpage and a little bit of cupping, and I needed something to help really kind of pull those together. What I did then was I gave the exposed surface a rough sand with the belt sander, and today I'm going to actually be forming the bucking. So I decided what I'm going to do is use my router, and I'm going to route a rabbit in three quarters of an inch deep. This is just a test that I made, three quarters of an inch deep. And then what I'll do is I'll use some glue and screws to secure it. These door frames are actually going to be on non-load bearing walls. So they're not going to have to support a whole lot of weight. In fact, the only weight they're going to have to support is the weight of a single bale on top of them, as well as uh, the dispersed weight of the box beam going across the entire width of the non-load bearing walls. Now that the components for the door bucks are complete, we're getting ready to assemble them and put them in place. What we're going to do is we're going to assemble the components, then we're going to stand them up in the location where they belong, and then directly adjacent to both sides of the door bucking, we're going to set our first bales. The bales will be set butt up against the door bucking, and we're going to prepare these bales by driving 
what's called a vampire stake vertically into the bale. What's that gonna, what that is going to do is give us the opportunity to screw the door bucking from the inside into the bale on both sides. As each subsequent row of bales are installed next to door buckings and window buckings, we're going to do the same thing. We'll use an electric chainsaw. We'll do a plunge cut into the bale, drive a stake in, and then use the appropriate screw. I don't know if it's going to be a four inch screw or if it's going to be a five inch structural screw. We'll see what works, but that will lock the door bucking and window bucking to the bales. baby. So what we've done is gotten the first course of bales set in the critical positions, which are corners and adjacent to the door buckings. What we're left with are four spaces where we're going to have to split some bales. What I'm doing now is making staples to pin the corners of the walls together. I've actually made a more detailed video of this when we were building the tool shed, and I'll link that in the description. This is 3 a inch rebar. And I've said it before, this jaw horse is one of the best things that we've purchased. When, you, when you're working by yourself, it's really an extra set of hands. And a pretty strong vice, too. There you go, simple as that.
I've got the first buck put together and I have a couple angle braces just to assure that it stays square during the rest of the construction. Now it's time to do the door bucking dance. We kind of sidestep our way into place and luckily it fits pretty smoothly. We did use a piece of half inch OSB as a spacer on one side to make sure that it was butted up flush against the toe up. We double check the spacing and make sure that everything's in the proper spot and then we screw it in place using three and a half inch decking screws. Here you can see Yvonne using a dead blow hammer to secure the corners of the straw bales with the rebar staples that I have manufactured. It was time to get down to splitting some bales using the three quarter inch webbing that we use and the ratchet strap tool we divide the first bale and here you can see Yvonne tightening up the strap and after she cuts off the excess she releases the original baling twine. And that's how you separate a bale.